Hey everyone, Chris with Coalition Gaming here. We're back with another headset review, this time with the Creative Sound Blaster X-H6. And uh, it's a bit of a newer product from them, higher end, a little more sleek, has some RGB. Stay with us. All right, so let's get into the aesthetics of the headset and uh, I guess the build quality as well. Feels like there is a metal band in the, uh, well, the, the headband portion of it. There's not a lot of padding right where it's uh, going to be on your head, unfortunately. A lot of headsets do have a ton of padding there. This one, not so much, but to be honest, it's not that bad the way that it is. It is extendable, so you, if you have you know, a big head, you can extend it out to fit that. Or if you have a small head, like Wayne, it'll fit his head too. What the? <laughs> so something that really sets us apart from the H7 Tournament Edition that we reviewed, that'll be linked right up here, by the, by the way, if you guys wanted to check that out, is that instead of using a leatherette around the top and the ear cups, this uses a breathable mesh. And so it's got this thick foam for maximum comfort, breathable mesh. It feels really good. It's got a bit more of a of a high-end feel to it. The overall headset build quality is pretty solid, and I really like the fact that it's somewhat of a muted design. Even though it says Blaster X on the side, unlike the H7 Tournament Edition, that where it's lighting up and it's sort of in your face, on this one, it's sort of just flattened out. You can sort of see it, it's there, but it's blacked out in a way, and the only lighting you have on this is an RGB ring light around the outside of the ear cups. You can turn that off if you want, or you can adjust it, make it any solid color you want. You can make it react to any music that you want, or you can just have it run through the RGB spectrum. Another thing on this is the microphone is detachable as well. So if you're using a setup that has a, a microphone on an arm or anything like that, well, you can just unplug this microphone, put it away, no big deal. Or if, in case your microphone gets lost or damaged, you can just get another one on there. So this is a streamlined headset compared to the H7 Tournament Edition. You don't have an inline controller with buttons and a volume controller, anything to worry about there. It's all on the left ear cup. You have an EQ button to turn your EQ settings off and on, depending on what you're listening to. You also have uh, what, it, what they call a monitor button. And I think the monitor button will activate the microphone in the, well, in the microphone of the headset and it will route it into the headset so you can hear everything around you. So if somebody comes up to talk to you, you just push that button and then it will activate everything so you can hear what anybody around you is saying without having to take the headset off. So that's actually a nifty little feature on this one considering that these are a closed back headset so you realistically shouldn't be able to hear too much outside of it for that. There's also a volume controller right on there. So you reach up to the left side of the cup, you can scroll it up or down. It isn't one of those ones that sort of hits a, uh, like a, a finite amount, like you just roll it and it stops. It's an infinite rolling one. So the, anywhere where your volume is set on your computer, you just roll it and keep rolling it until it's maxed out. And if you, you want to lower the volume, you can just keep rolling it until it's all the way muted. And lastly, there is a microphone mute button right on there. So if something comes up and you need to mute that microphone so people don't hear what's going on, reach up, hit that button, you're muted. The sound quality on this one actually I found impressive compared to the H7 Tournament Edition. H7 Tournament Edition from Creative as well is it's a solid headset all around. But this one, I don't know, there's something about the way the bass sounds that just put a smile on my face. I really enjoyed listening to it. It's a really well-balanced headset but the bass on it sounds really good. Now, the software lets you control all sorts of stuff. We'll go over the software more in the next part, but the default crystallizer and surround settings with bass in there sounds really freaking good on this headset. I was just, I was just impressed with it. It's really nice audio quality. In terms of gaming, you still have scout mode. Creative, known for scout mode, I guess at this point, so one of their staples. Scout mode will raise the frequencies of noises that are a bit more distant. So you could uh, like stuff that's far or stuff that's just kind of quiet, like footsteps. So you could hear footsteps, you could hear things around you more for better positional awareness in your gaming. You can turn that off and on with the hotkey on your keyboard as well because it also will blow other things up in your ears and can be kind of painful at times. So it's smart to be able to turn it off and on when you want it. But overall positional audio on this in terms of gaming is pretty good as well. It's a 7.1 surround headset, virtualized of course. It uses two 50 millimeter drivers 
and uh, it's enough in order to get a good positional awareness of what you're doing in the game so you have the max benefit of having all that technology in there. So let's check out the software on the computer. Here we are at the Sound Blaster Connect screen. So this is the software for this microphone. It's an updated version of their previous software that I went over in the uh, tournament ed H7 Tournament Edition review. And again, here you have all your profiles that will adjust audio uh, equalizer depending on what you're playing. So Call of Duty series would be good for first-person shooters, and uh, Arena Valor would be good for, I don't know, third-person games maybe. You can have movie settings, music-optimized settings, or just general gaming, stuff like that. And you can turn the equalizer off and on right here in your dashboard as well as the Blaster X acoustic engine. Now the Blaster X acoustic engine is also reachable over here in sound. You go to sound, acoustic engine, and you can configure everything in here, turn the stuff off and on. So the surround is the, this defines the intensity of the surround effect that you get. Crystallizer sort of makes it more, I guess you could say realistic. It's kind of hard to put my finger on exactly what it does, but it does make everything just sound better in this case. So uh, it does start to sound like sort of too much once you get past the 50 point. This is a really good spot for it in my opinion. Bass is tunable as well. You have the smart volume that will help even out um, sudden increases in sound. So if like so you get like an ear rape or something, hopefully this will help deal with that. And then you have the dialogue plus, which will help bring out the highs and some stuff dynamically. It's nice, but uh, I actually don't like the Dialog Plus stuff too much, just because uh, it already has pretty good highs to begin with. It doesn't need that much help. And here's the Scout Mode that I talked about. You can assign the Haunt Key, and this is what will help you hear footsteps and uh, a few other smaller sounds to get better positional awareness over your enemies. On the voice section here, you can also turn on noise reduction for the microphone. Let's see how the noise reduction sounds. So, I just turned noise reduction on. And by the way, we're doing this whole Sound Blaster Connect overview on the microphone of the headset. So you're hearing me through the headset. Acoustic echo cancellation, we'll turn that on too, see how that sounds. And then smart volume, I'm just gonna leave that one alone because I don't want it dynamically adjusting volume, which is what this will do. I'm just gonna leave that as is, set the volume, and then be good with it. And we're gonna turn acoustic echo cancellation off and noise reduction as well and get back to it. Here's your lighting section where you can do a solo color light, you can have it pulsate, you can have it react to music, and then cycle. And if you go through cycle, it'll go through the RGB spectrum, or you can just turn the lights off by uh, putting this slider over. And then that way, it's just a blacked out headset and it looks real good that way. You could also mute your microphone right here, as well as control the volume, and then once you have all your stuff set up, you can sign in, it will save it to a profile, and that way if you reinstall your Windows or go to another computer and you take this headset, load up the software, sign in, bring your profiles back the way you have it, and you're good to go. Okay, so after listening to the microphone, after recording this last section, I have to say that the clarity on it is really good. It doesn't sound like a typical muffled a headset microphone it sounds like something a bit better than a traditional headset microphone and i guess that's a step in the right direction so as far as clarity goes i'm happy with it what do you guys think all right so something else that this comes with is a well i guess it's an aux cable but it is a uh, four pole i think trrs connector so you can use this with the microphone as well with like a phone or a combo jack or something like that on the lap laptop if you didn't want to go through usb it has the headphone jack right here and like as you can see sort of on this, it's three lines on it. That means TRRS or four pole. I forget if it's four pole or three pole. Either way, it's TRRS. I know that much. And um, so if you wanted to use a three and a half millimeter jack with this setup, you sure can. So this brings us to the conclusion. The headset, in my opinion, is super solid for the money. At 80 bucks, available on Amazon. Links will be in the description below, by the way, if it's something you guys wanted to check out. Um, it's a solid package. It's comfortable. It's got good materials, good build quality, RGB, if that's what you're into, or you can turn that off. That's fine too. It's got a good microphone. It's removable. It's got loads of features. The software for it is good. There really isn't anything bad I can say about this headset. The audio quality on it is pretty well balanced, really nice bass on there. And uh, you could use it with three and a half millimeter jack or USB. You aren't restricted to anything on that one. So there are some headsets that are USB only. This is not like that. You have options with this headset. And I don't know, it's just comfortable and it sounds great. 80 bucks, not a bad deal on a headset. 
Uh, it is one I'm definitely going to recommend based on everything that I've experienced with it. So great headset. Creative, this is awesome. Keep it going, you guys. So that's it. Hopefully you guys like this video. Check out our other product review videos from Creative. They'll be linked in the description below or right up here. And uh, we also have the Creative H7 headset review, as I've mentioned before. It is the, I guess you could call it the bigger brother to this one, even though this is the newer product. Different feel, if that's you guys wanted to explore some stuff like that. Anyways, make sure you check out our other videos as well. Hit that subscribe button. We always got more coming. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, all our socials. Join our Discord. Everything will be linked below. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.